is uh, our QSER class. Today is class number 30. Um, class number 30, and we start with Zephyr Hafezheim on page uh, number 104. And uh, big topic is the same, laws of harmful speech. Yeah, and today's uh, topic is uh, unknown victim. Mm -hmm. Uh, a person who has caused harm to his fellow must ask for forgiveness even if the victim is unaware that he has been harmed. A case in point is where an employee was being considered for a promotion but was not ever informed of this possibility. If someone violated the laws of Lashon Hara and made a statement to the employer which resulted in the promotion not being granted, he must approach the victim, explain what has been, uh, ha uh, what has happened, and beg forgiveness. However, Rabbi Israel Salanter is reported to have held that if relating the incident to the victim would cause him anguish, one would have to forgo that aspect of the true process. So I would say more, most of the time this person would, uh, would be very upset. Uh -huh. and the opportunity, whatever opportunity was it, and now he lost it because uh, we said something. And, um, too hard. Okay. Alright, so continue with Kitsur. And we continue uh, Laws of Mizuza, which is Simon 11. Then uh, then uh, Sif number 8. In some gateways, there is, uh, there is once, there is one smaller entrance next to the larger gate gateway. So smaller and then next to the big one. So some, sometimes like, like you have, even today you have this uh, like huge, um, huge doors, even, even to, to the shul, like in the shul that I just came from, there is a huge doors and there are on the, on the other side smaller doors. So, but, but these huge doors, uh, most of the time they close only on, I don't know, when they open. Okay. Oh no, on Shabbos probably there. In, in some gateways, uh, there is one smaller, smaller entrance next to the larger gateway. And uh, generally people uh, go in, uh, in and out through the smaller entrance, while the larger gate is open only occasionally. That's exactly the, the case. Maybe if they need uh, to uh, get in somebody with, in a wheelchair, I'm not sure. Why, why, how. Since they are two distinct entrances, um, with a pillar over wall or a wall, a tefak wide between them, they require two mezuzas uh, for each one entrance. Each one of these entrances. Okay. Which is, makes sense, right? Just one second. I'll put myself on mute just for. All right, no problem. So basically, we, we said, but but usually the, there is a, like as I say, a pillar. I, I, I mean, uh, this door is supposed to hang on something. Maybe not always, but um, maybe not always. Okay. But if there is a pillar and they say tefach, so you need to misuse. Okay. Continue CF number nine. <clears throat> In place where there is a reason to to be concerned. That if mezuzah is affixed on a doorpost in a normal manner, it may be stolen, as we said last time in uh, Jerusalem, an old city, they like uh, old plaster into the wall, may be stolen. Um, if, um, if possible, one should carve a uh, hollow into the doorpost of the house and place mezuzah inside it. 24 coming to end. The hollow is, uh, is then covered with a plaster. Or the like, so that mezuzah cannot be stolen. So basically, they they leave just uh, a little uh, piece uh, like open the the glass, so so you see there is a mezuzah there. Okay. Continue. Second. However, um, he should not carve deeper than tefach into the door. So as we said, uh, tefach is like three and a half. Uh, 3.75 3. inches, something like that. 
because um, because uh, if the mezuzah were placed deeper than tepach there, it would um, it would not fulfill the obligation to fix mezuzah on the doorpost of your house. It would rather be considered inside the doorpost and would not be in, uh, would thus be invalid. So too deep you cannot put. But um, well, I saw that maybe I don't know, maybe one and a half inch inside, one inch deep inside. So I mean that's good enough. Further on, one must take care when inserting the mezuzah into the shekalo that at least. Um, the place of the doorpost where the mezuzah should be apparent. So, <clears throat> like, you have to leave something so that they would know that there is a mezuzah. I said that uh, whatever I saw, they, they would uh, um, show like piece of case, like small, like I don't know, maybe half an inch. So, but but at least you know that the mezuzah is there. Wait, question. Yeah. So let's say, uh, right now we're talking about, let's say, a doorpost where one side is wider than the other, correct? No. Oh, well, the, well the, uh, but I, I, I know we're not talking about that, but let's say there is, correct? Let's say one side is wider than the other, okay? Okay, yeah. Uh -huh. As in, let's say, uh, you, you, uh, one side has more of a hole where it's wider, but on the bottom, both are equal. But when you go up, one makes more of a right turn. Uh, I, I think I have it. I, I think we're going to get to whatever you're saying. But not it's it's not in uh, this case. There, mm -hmm. there are a few, few, few different cases. I, I think I know what you're talking about. But let's uh, let's continue learning. I think it's the next or the one after that. Understood. We're going to discuss. But but here, so so here we, we didn't get to, to your case. Whatever you're saying, so here is simpler. Mm -hmm. so when we need to, to put it inside of the doorpost, mm -hmm. so and the doorpost could be made of stone or whatever whatever is it. Okay. To come to it. This cannot be done by making the doorpost itself uh, to show the place of the mezuzah. It had to show, meaning uh, so you you cannot create some kind of bump <laughs> on the doorpost and show that the, the it is a mezuzah. No, no, this can be done by um, marking on the doorpost itself to show the place of the mezuzah. So, so basically, in the, this year, like he he. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say. He he covered it completely with cement, let's say, and then uh, like put like a, a line on top, so to to show that it's measured. Okay, but uh, what what I saw they they leave uh, they like piece piece of case. So you, you see like case and all of the mezuzah. Okay. It is also impossible. For one to come into the, uh, uh, I'm sorry. If 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 it is impossible, if it is impossible, for one to carve into the doorpost of the house, one can rely in a situation of the pressing need. Oh, the pressing need on those opinions who permit a fix the mezuzah inside of the house behind the door. Okay. However, when uh, putting it behind the door, one must be uh, one. It must be placed only on the doorpost itself. So even if it's behind the door, there is no problem to have it behind the door. I mean, uh, in the, as I say, in the present situation, right? So it should be on the doorpost itself, meaning not not on the wall behind the the, the door. Okay. And ah, okay, that exactly. Right. And uh, not on the wall of the house. Okay, see how you are done. Okay, continue. In addition, it should not. Uh, he should make sure not to distance it more than a tefach from the space of the end and um, entranceway itself. Since then, it would be invalid. Six. 
Now there is um, if it is placed behind the door, it must be within the tapper of the door post that is closest to the door. That is closest to the door and not further inside. Closest to the door and not close to the door. So one more time, somehow, uh, one, sorry, one more time, last sentence, and we explain. In addition, he should make sure not to distance it more than tapper from the space of the entrance way itself. So meaning the, this door, sometimes that door is a little deeper inside, right? So they say um, door is a little deeper inside. So, but it must be like a tapper to, to, to the edge, looks like it. Since it would be invalid. Okay, commentary one more time. There is, a, if it is placed behind the door, it must be within the tapper of the door post. Uh, that, is, uh, that is the closest to the door. Uh, and not further inside. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe they're talking about like very wide uh, the door post, like not whatever we have, like fancy schmancy. Right. Um, okay. Then, maybe because our, our like, uh, um, what is it? Door frame. I would say maybe six inches or so. So it's, it cannot be like, you cannot go three three inches this way and then three inches another way. Okay. So continue. Step number ten. A house to the room that does not uh, that does not require mezuzah, unless it contains an area of four. Amos by four amos. So basically eight by eight feet, approximately little less. Okay, so commentary say four by four amos between 39.7 and 57.4 square feet. Okay. See uh, kids uh, uh, appendix to kids are in story of losses regarding a room that does not have uh, the requirement uh, um, required size per requirement is also but which opens to a larger room. So the small room, smaller than this size, but opens into a larger room, okay. So also, Igras Moshe, they, uh, where Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, the Tzal writes that in such a case, a smaller room is exempt. Okay, so, so basically the case, if a smaller room, so all of the like bigger closets, like walk-in closets, I mean, I mean, we don't have such a closet, but uh, somebody who lives in a like, uh, bigger house, so uh, they would have a uh, walk-in closet that would uh, require mezuzah. Okay. Uh, so the case we just discussed is when small room open, uh, opens up to a bigger room. I'm not sure if I've ever seen like such a tiny room uh, that opens to the bigger room. Not sure, okay. But uh, Rav Moshe Feinstein said it does not require, which is straightforward. Okay. If it is, does not uh, contain a square of four amas by four amas, okay, uh, but it contains an area that is uh, equivalent to four amas by four amas, that is 16 square amas. For example, the length uh, was greater than the width. Okay. Um, commentary. There is, it was a rectangular. A room measuring two amas by eight amas. All the one cannot fit a, squ um, fit a square of four amas by four amas into this room. Its area does equal to the area of four amas by four amas, which is 16 amas. Okay. So continue. Or if it were uh, a circular, a room cont um, containing an area equal to 16 amas. Some say that it, um, it requires a mezuzah, and some say it is exempt from requirement. See end of CF11, so we're going to get to it. To what to do in such a case? Okay, so basically, as, as we said last time, uh, in all of the uh, like uh, questionable cases, so if, if the, the, there is possibility that it needs a mezuzah, so you just... Uh, do mezuzah without blessing. So make make sure, for, for example, you, you need to, to fix another mezuzah. So you say on one, on this, you do not say. So, and even if you in, uh, if, if this is the only mezuzah that you need to, to hang, 
and you you're not sure there is nobody to ask and no expert so you can always uh, do mezuzah without uh, without the blessing basically if you have uh, like uh, if you think that uh, it might need okay so all right so basically we said one more time just to summarize Uh, for Amos, so if it's for uh, like 16 Amos room, so you you would need uh, you you would need a visa. So I I would say this like uh, say to, to to understand simply, if you can uh, fit a bed, if you can sleep there. So uh, in the working closets, in many of them, you you can fit the bed. There is no problem. So you can sleep there if I mean if needed. Okay. So and a bed usually. Uh, I'm not sure, like maybe seven feet or so, six and a half, seven feet depends, right? So okay, so it's approximately in plus minus. So it would be like uh, two sizes of the bed, like say regular bed, and uh, here we go, sixteen hours plus minus. Okay, number eleven. The entrance does uh, an entrance does not require mezuzah unless it's it has two door posts. Okay, that are at least 10 to pack him high. So here we go. So we have a minimum requirements of door post 10 to pack him. So 10 uh, just for simplicity, let's say it's four inches. So it's like 40 inches. Okay, so unless you have those, uh, these two door posts, you really need this one. And a lintel on top of them. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so basically, let's say there's a door post. Uh, okay, the best way I can explain it is over here, it's very wide. Okay, on the bottom, it's wide, mm -hmm. uh, like su like super wide. Uh, then as you go up, it goes up like that. Uh, then it mm -hmm. closes in, uh, then it keeps going up. You understand? Okay. So in this scenario, uh, let's say the whole thing is 10 to fucking high. Okay. Now the thing is the bottom. It's, it's very, very wide. Does it, uh, at the bottom is one to fucking, does it count as a part of the doorpost? Does that count as a doorpost or no? Well, one second, when, when you say, let's, let, let's step back in, 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 in your explanation. If you say 10 to fucking high, 10 to fucking, it's like, uh, uh, a little higher than than your waist. Uh huh. So that's uh, I mean it's not not reasonable. Um, but I'm saying, does that bottom part, bottom part that is wide, does that yeah. count as a door? Post yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it counts as a door post. Yeah. Okay. Understood. Understood. Got it. Does not matter what. Uh, but but plus oh, what's up? But but uh, plus we have uh, we said that you need a lentil like on top lentil. Uh -huh. Got it. Got it. Got it. Understood. So if it, I mean, I understand what 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 he's saying that to, to, today they do all of this uh, crazy design. Okay, so it looks like a door post, not like like a door post. Okay, but um, okay, so let's so one one more time, eleven from the beginning. The entrance does not require a mezuzah unless it has two door posts. Could you put put, put, uh, put yourself on mute? And, okay, unless you need to talk. Thank you, sorry. Um, that they're at least 10 to fucking high. And a, lent, a lintel on top of them. Okay. So that's uh, that, that's a requirement. So may, maybe there's some crawling space, like, I don't know, some uh, 10 to fucking high. Okay. Even if um, the doorposts were not made of a different wood or stone, were not made of different wood or stone, that the rest of the building, rather the wall of the building, uh, walls of the building themselves, from the door post to the opening of the wall. And above the entrance, uh, there is a roof. This entrance is also required mezuzah. <clears throat> Let's read it one more time and try to understand. Even if the door posts were not made of different wood, or stone than the rest of the building. So l l let's say this uh, door was made of uh, bricks. Let's say bricks. Building. 
rather than the walls of the, uh, the building themselves. So it's not like uh, this, uh, whatever, when we install the door, usually, usually, we have this uh, wooden frame, right, that, that you install, usually, metal frame, like some kind of frame uh, that would be installed, right? but they say it here is different. It's uh, the, the same material as, as the building themselves. So, um, so one more time, the walls of the building themselves from the, the um, from the doorpost to the opening wall. One more time, I apologize. Even if the doorpost were not made of a different wood or stone than the rest of the building, rather the walls uh, of the building themselves from the doorpost to the op uh, to the opening in the wall. And above this entrance, there was a roof. The entrances also require mezuzah. Um, so basically, the way I understand, so the, there is no lintel on top. So from so there is a door, and there is not not um, not actually like door posts uh, as as we understand. So I I would say it looks looks to me looks to me like a gate more, uh, not like a entrance to the building, like a gate, some kind of gate, and on top you have a roof, right? So the, there is no lintel, it's it's roof. So this roof uh, on, on top, like connected to, to, to these walls, roof, roof connected to the walls, so it considered to be like a lintel. So in this opening uh, would, would require me So basically there, there is no roof whatsoever, it's a uh, brick, uh, brick, uh, brick uh, walls, Right, and uh, there is a roof up there, and uh, the, this uh, this uh, the, the, this door is, is is attached directly to the bricks. Go ahead. So, question: Let's say there's a house and it's door post, right? Let's say I don't know. It has a mezuzah and everything, and then a tornado takes uh takes one of the sides. Okay. Now, is that place? Uh, still obligated to keep the mezuzah on the wall or no? Oh, interesting question. So I I would say no because there is no like com completely like the to, to one one side there is no door post right? Is that what you mean? Mm -hmm. Let's say even, no, no, mm -hmm. let's say even half is left. Like let's say half of uh, let's say the the bottom of that door post is still there, but the top was taken off by the tornado. Com uh, so we said if it's uh, if, according to this, if you have 10, 10, 10 to fuck him, let's say that is uh, waist, uh, waist height, right? Let's say approximately, right? And uh, left of the frame, of the door frame, right? And uh, the the upper, I uh, know, if, if you don't have the top part, where, where exactly where to put mezuzah, right? Mm -hmm. it, uh, put it somewhere. <laughs> No, no, no. Top, top part of the left side of the left side. Left, left side. Okay, so left side is not there. So basically, okay, good, good example. I, I would say based on what, what we just read. So if it's uh, ten to five him high, so let, let's say on, a, even on on the left side, only ten to five him left, which is I would say like half of the, uh, half of the frame is left. Half is out, as you said. Half of the is there. So I would say, yeah, it would require mezuzah. Understood. The, if roof is there, yeah. But basically, um, require or, or not require. So if if it is there, if it is there, so I don't I don't think that you are obligated to take it down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, once you once you install it, even if it does not require, so you're not obligated to take it down because m most of the m most likely you would uh, you would fix that house. And then, then it's going to require me. So, so the, the question is, I would say the question is, if you would need to take it down after you fix the, this door for us and the house, and I put it uh, with uh, this address. So mm -hmm. if if it was the minimum requirement of the door post, no problem. I, I say you don't you don't need to just uh, put it in with a blessing. May, maybe remove it and play, place it without the blessing. It will be good. Okay. Just in case. Just in case. So continue. If the entrance of the house has only one door post, one door post, 
for example, on one side, the entrance, uh, there is a rectang uh, rectangular door, but on the other side, the wall continues, wall continues, as shown on diagram A. So I'm going to try to show you diagram A. I'm not sure if it's, uh, is it visible? You see it? Yeah. yeah. So basically, uh, um, right do door post is, is there, but there is no left door post. It's like continuous wall. I, mean, I saw it many, many in, in many apartments. Uh, there is such a situation in my apartment. Yeah, there, there is one place where uh, where we have it. There is a lintel on top. Um, basically, there is a lintel on top, and in in, in one place I saw this uh, this thing. So the, the, this idea, I, I don't remember who said, but if it's possible to hang the door there, so it's possible that you need mezuzah. Of course, you're not going to make a blessing when when you're going to hang the door there, but um, but there is a possibility that you need mezuzah. So in this case, in that place, we install it without the blessing, just in case to cover all of the opinions. Okay. But it's uh, similar, not, not exactly, but, but similar to this. Okay, so one more time. If the entrance of the house has only one door post, for example, one side of the entrance, uh, there is a rectangular door post, but the other side is a wall. Um, um, wall, walls continue on and show diagram A that we just saw. This key, uh, in this case, Mizuda requirement depends on which of the two door posts is there. Okay, very interesting. Which door is If the door post is on the left side, right, and on the right side, uh, the just one second. If the door post is on the left side. Door was on the, on on my left side, so we put mezuzah on the right, and on the right uh, and on the right side, with the mezuzah to be placed, there is no door post. So so on the on the left side is a door post, and on the right side there is a the the wall continues, right? There is no door post. Then the entrance is exempt from the requirement of the mezuzah. So some somebody I don't know some some time ago asked me to install mezuzah this uh, lady elderly lady and uh, so <laughs> she didn't know how many mezuzahs somehow she had uh, like small studio apartment and uh, I think in in two places it was exactly this scenario so she would have this uh, left uh, door post lintel but uh, but this on on. On the right side, it was just a wall. So exactly this case uh, did not require mezuzah. So believe it or not, uh, in all apartment, I think we installed only one mezuzah to the entrance. Oh, others were exempt. Okay. Just one second. Uh, it is exempt requirement to, to mezuzah. So if if on the right there is a door, on the left the door post does not require mezuzah. But if the door post is on the right side, so he, he's a different. And on the left side, wall continues. So here's the door post. Here's the wall, right? So as 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 uh, as we saw in the picture, okay, wall continues. Uh, in this case, there is a doubt as to whether entrance is required mezuzah or not. And therefore, one uh, should affix mezuzah, but do not recite the blessing. So that's a case in my house. Commentary. Or see appendix for the editorial glosses, yes. Okay. But um, so on the on, on the right on the right hand there is a door post, on the on the left there is continuous wall. I mean I'm, I'm not even sure if it, if, it, if the wall continues there. Probably not, but it's not uh, like uh, actual door post or stuff like that. So it was like a one, one one place in my house like questionable. So we just put it without uh, without the blessing. Exactly this scenario, no, not exactly, but very close to this scenario. 
or he can affix it to the entrance. Uh, go ahead, question. Yeah, so let's say, I was thinking, let's say, uh, now does it need to be open on the bottom? Is it, do you still have to put a mezuzah on a doorpost if let's say there's a barrier in between? Let's say there's like a small, uh, that's the best way I can explain that. Okay, let's say you have a doorpost, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, then through the middle of the doorpost, someone makes uh, uh, a, a new part of the wall. They, they install, let's say, like uh, a bridge, a bridge, we'll say it that way, mm -hmm. a bridge. Does someone- but, 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 it, but it's no longer a door. You understand? I, so you can you cannot go through. Basically. I, you you no? could go through it. You you could. No, no. I mean, if if you step forward, but not not everybody can step forward. Like elderly people, for for them, it's like closed, uh, closed thing. Let's say it's on the it's on the bottom. Let's say it's on the it's it's a little higher than the ground. A little higher than the ground. Like like a do door seal, right? Let's say, yes. So there, there is there is no problem then. If it's no like problem. so, there is a, well, what are we saying? It's uh, it in in some houses in some houses. So they they, they, they try to, to 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 make sure that uh, the 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 rain water is not coming in like when it's high like. So they, they would put 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 this uh, like um, door sill higher than than the floor, mm -hmm. than the floor inside. So you have to like step over. So you're right. I mean, but it's uh. I don't know, maybe like two inches or so, but like huh. nothing too crazy. Understood, understood. But okay. uh, yes, possible, yes. But uh, but but higher than that, it's like uh, I, I would not call it a door. If it's like some barrier, okay. So continue. Well, well, one one more thing. Do we have mm -hmm. to? Uh, does it count as a doorpost? Does like let's say when you go through an elevator, or no? Um, so the elevator, so why, so the, the question why we don't put, uh, um, what is it, um, even if you don't put on the elevator, there's still the elevator itself, right? Other than there's a frame outside of the elevator. Oh, which, no, you're right. uh, so there is no problem with, uh, I mean, uh, technically the, there is a frame and the, the lintel, everything is there. So it's not a problem. The problem is that we don't use uh, the, the elevator to live in. So nobody lives in elevator. So let's say in the basement, so if you have a basement, you use it for storage, you have laundry machine and stuff like that, right? In the basement, but technically you can live there. You can, uh, I don't know, well, so something happened, you, you can put your bed in there, like folding bed, and you can sleep in the basement. So that's why in the basement we do, so you put, you, we do put uh, mezuzah, if it's big enough, and then you say the same blessing so, because technically you, you can leave that. Mm -hmm. Understood. Uh, yes. But, oh, in but the, so basically, in all, all, all of the places that it's possible for you to live. So, for example, as a, in a bathroom, one, one, one explanation that it stinks, so you should not have uh, holy writing on one hand. On another hand, no, nobody sleeps in a bathroom unless he's crazy. I don't know, some extraordinary circumstance. Can't, can't I make the argument that, uh, let's say on the, uh, you're assuming that we're putting the elevator, uh, if we were to put the mezuzah, we would put it on the right side going into the elevator, correct? Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, but I'm saying, but what if we do it putting on the right side going out of the elevator? Then that way, because really, if you're leaving your room, you're going to a main area. You're, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. Let's say the office is the main area. Like, let's say you have an apartment. No, no, no. The, the, the office is the main area. Yeah, it exactly. is the main area. So, but, 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 but you go from main area into the secondary. So uh -huh. this, this is, uh, as, as we said last time, the elevator, if, if it were a room, let, 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 let's say it was like printed. Uh -huh. So it would be inside room. They call it uh, kids of inside room. Understood. Inside comparing, as you said, to the main area, which is office. Got it. That's the main. Okay. So let's uh, let, let's continue. 
So, um, so okay. So in in this case, when uh, on on the right has uh, uh, right hand side he has a doorpost. On the left hand side he has a, like a continual wall. Right. Uh, so the first uh, first option we said uh, uh, affix mezuzah without blessing. Continue, or he can affix it in on the entrance immediately after affixing mezuzah to the entrance that clearly requires mezuzah. Okay, and exempt the, the uh, this second entrance as well from the obligation to recite the blessing. With the blessing uh, he recited mezuzah, he affixed on the first entrance. Uh, we're going to explain. Let, let me read the commentary. See the CF7, where it is stated that one blessing su suffices for one. The same. So basically, what 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 we just said here. Uh, so one um, one option is is to install it without the blessing. Another option is, uh, as we said before, just install few mezuzas. And keep keep it in mind. So this blessing, what I said, if if uh, if required, it should be for this mezuzah also. As we said, the one uh, one blessing is uh, sufficient for uh, all of the mezuzah. I mean, if you do it in one time. Likewise, the same should be done in any case where there is a question regarding the obligation to to affix mezuzah. Okay, but um, in all of these cases, but in a in a case, as, as we discussed, described before, if the door post is on the left and on the, uh, on the right, it's only like straight walls, so there is no doubt. You do not put mezuzah there, okay? So, okay, so let's see, maybe we do five more minutes. Okay. An entrance, um, uh, an entrance has a two door post, okay? But it does not have a lintel. Rather, the place of the lintel, there is an arch, uh, covered the shape of the ball above the doorpost. Or even a case where there is no distinct doorpost, rather the arch begins uh, curving upwards from the floor, thus forming the two sides of the entrance. If, uh, if the arch entrance contains a space of 10 tefahim, High by, four, uh, by, by 40 half in wide. An opening of the arch does not, um, the opening of the does not narrow to less than a 40 fahim before it reaches the height uh, of 10 fahim. The entrance is required in Zusa. So, So let's see, let's uh, read it one more time. So basically there are, um, there are like a brick wall, let's say brick wall, right? And it goes up and then arch. Like there is no like a straight link. Okay, so well, let's read one more time and uh, see if we get more, more information. Entrance that has two door posts, but does not have lintel. Rather, uh, in the place of the lintel, there is an arch uh, um, covering the shape of the ball above the doorpost. So exactly the same, straight and then the arch, okay, on top, above the doorpost. Uh, or in, um, even in a case where there is no distinct doorpost, okay, so then there is like only like, like a walls, right, the continue walls. You see, no door. Rather, the arch be, uh, begin curving upwards from the floor. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, it may, maybe it's some like old fancy schmancy buildings like that. Okay, thus uh, forming the two sides of the entrance. So the, the arch starts from from the floor. Okay, two sides of the entrance. Um, if the arched entrance contains a space of ten tefahim high. So I mean, this uh, like up to the waist high, right? The, the 40 inches plus minus. There is the opening of the arch does not um, does not narrow less than the 40 fahim before the arch. 
So first the fucking is uh, straight and then only it's, uh, it goes uh, as an arch. It reaches heights of 10 fucking. The entrance required mezuzah. I mean, uh, today I don't, I don't think we have such a wall. Okay, so but plus it's small, it's 10 fucking, then uh, arch, uh, all of these things. Okay, so continue. Those stores, they have um, one door post made so that uh, it reaches from the floor until lintel. So only one door post, okay, and the other door post, so that it does not reach the lintel, instead, close to the lintel, the wall is, uh, is uh, in, mm, intended for ama or more. I'm not sure, okay, I'm, I'm going to show you a picture, I'm not sure, I have next class, so probably we have to stop. So he's, uh, do you see the picture? So basically, this is the arch and stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what? I apologize. I, I, I would be late for my next class. Let's stop here and we're okay. going to discuss this whole lot. All right. Any questions? Only quick. No, no? Not, uh, not today. Thank you. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. I, I scheduled the class. Oh, thank All you. right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. אני מברך את הרבנים, הרב ירון ראובן, הרב אפרים כחלון, ראשי ארגון בעזרת השם, שערכו בפעליון, שעלו מעלה מעלה, יהיה להם ברכה והצלחה, הקדוש ברוך הוא ימלא בלשונות ליבם, לטובה ולברכה, שבכל מה שנפנו, ישכילו ויצליחו, יזכו עוד לעשות כאלה וכאלה, הודיעו תורה לאדירה, אמן ואמן. הוא היהודי הזה, הוא היה מיליונר, סגר את כל הביזנס, אמר אני משקיע פה בעולמה של תורה. איפה הוא גר? בפלורידה. פלורידה, איפה זה פלורידה? אמריקה. כן, ליד. אנחנו שם עכשיו הולכים להקים קהילה ספרדית. קהילה ספרדית גדולה. אני גם מה שבירכתי אותו. כן, קהילה ספרדית גדולה.